Hey, this is Kenneth, and today we're looking at my Z80 breadboard computer, and I have made the kind of silly next step of I added a dip switch onto the data bus. And so we've got eight pull-down resistors on the data bus pulling every bit to zero, and then I've got eight dip switches that are all then tied to high, so I can then manually pull any one of these LEDs up. Right, um, so now it, I can actually toggle in a real program um, one step at a time, and we can see that the processor actually do something. So first, we're going to reset it. So hold down the reset button, four clock cycles to put it into reset, and then two more to finish the reset s sequence. And now we are fetching from the first address. So. For our first instruction, let's do a load A, um, A, N. And so this instruction will tell the processor to take whatever data is at address one, um, which is after zero, and load it into the A register. And so load A, N is zero, zero, one, 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 zero, uh, one, one, zero. All right. So there is the instruction for load a n clock cycle to pull it. Um, this is the refresh cycle for the, if we were using DRAM, which we're not, we're using, uh, well, I guess we're, we're using dip ram, dip, dip rom. Um, anyways, and now, it, um, the second machine cycle for this instruction is fetching uh, the value to load into um, the A register. So we'll just give it uh, AA. All right, and so now we can see we're at address one and we're doing, we're, it's not a new machine cycle because we're actually getting the operand for the load A. And so we're reading from memory and this is the value that we're reading. And so at this point, we have loaded AA into the A register. And so now we could do something with that. And so another possible instruction would be um, out n from a, which is write to a I, the I O some I O register from the a reg, the value of the current a register. And so that instruction is one one zero one zero zero one one. Nope. Yes. One, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. All right. So new machine cycle reading from memory. Here is the out N from a. And so that's the first four clock cycles is fetching that. And so now the next thing it's going to need is what output register to write to. And so we'll give it something like, I don't know, that one. And so it's reading from memory. And so now we have told it to take the contents of register A in the processor and write it to the IO port at this address. All right. And so now on the next machine cycle, um, the contents of register A is written on the high end of the address bus for some reason. Um, and the bottom eight bits of the address bus, you can see it is now addressing the IO port that we told it to, which is just the top two bits set. And it puts the contents of register A back on the data bus. And then on the next clock cycle, you can see that we have now not the read light, but the write light lit up. And instead of memory, IO. So we're now doing a write to an IO register at address, uh, this is what, um, C, C0, and we're writing the content, uh, the value A, A. Um, and then once that's complete, we go to the next net address, we do a new machine cycle, read from memory, we'll give it a no op, and away the computer goes, right? Um, but yeah, so that's that's what you could do with this this computer at this point, which is extremely silly. 
um, but I figured someone would enjoy it. So thanks for watching. And uh, I think the next step is I have to actually add some RAM and ROM to this thing to make it an actual computer.